How's it going, folks? So today I'm going to be talking about the brand new album uh, from the folks over at Ascension. After quite a long hiatus, they, they've just released a brand new album. It's Bad Boys called Under the Veil of Madness. But y'all know it by now, before I get into that nitty gritty, let's check out the cover. So boom, there it is. Take a look at that bad boy. I, I really dig how this cover looks. It just looks really, really cool. I love the way they have their names stylized up there at the top and at the bottom, kind of just under the veil of madness. And they're out like in some kind of a desert. And there's like a, what looks to be a pyramid of some kind with uh, this triangular, upside down triangular shape uh, below it. it. It's some kind of, it almost looks like a portal, you know, to a different realm or just a different region or you know, just like a wormhole or something like that. But it just looks really, really cool. I just love the desert landscape and then kind of the sky. You know, you kind of see the, the stars up in the night sky and some clouds and some light back there. The clouds look really fluffy. It just looks really, really neat. And then there in the center, you know, you, you have this this image of just some kind of structure and, and this, this almost realm, like a stargate almost. Um, uh, to some other realm and it just looks really really neat I like the colors and it, it's just uh, uh, depicted like really really cool and it looks like if you look really 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 close there's little, uh, you know people down there I don't know if it's the band kind of stand in there or whatnot looking up at this giant structure you know perhaps uh, debating whether to walk through this gate or not but uh, uh, really, really cool. It definitely catches the eye, and I dig the looks aesthetically. Now, as far as does it properly convey what, what style of music you're going to get, you know, if you're looking through the CD shop, you're, you're just scrolling through a record shop, what have you, you see this cover, you're like, ooh, this looks cool. You know, it just looks really clean. I, I dig this cover, but does it, does it convey what, what kind of music you're going to get on the album? Yeah, it kind of has a very standard kind of feeling to it as far as it, it's hard to determine what style of music this album would be just based off of the cover. So you kind of pick it up, you're looking at it, you're trying to decide, should I buy this with, without hearing um, it? Like if I never heard of the band before, you know, it's kind of a hard call because I feel like you would have a hard, difficult time to... Uh, determine what, what kind of music uh, this would be. Um, it just, I feel like it definitely kind of gives off metal vibes, but what genre of metal? I feel like it could go many different ways. Um, so really it could be symphonic, could be power, could be the death, could be metalcore. I, I just feel like it just kind of has that look to it where it, you get the idea it's probably metal, could even be progressive. Um, so it's really hard to say. So on that front, I'm kind of like, eh, you know, it'd be tough for someone to just look at the cover and buy it thinking it might be something they would like, unless they're just into metal in general. Then I think it's probably a safe purchase, but otherwise, you know, it, it just kind of could, could be multiple different genres. But aesthetically, um, I dig it. I think it looks really neat. So anywho, that's my two cents on the cover. But enough about that. Let's talk about the album itself. This bad boy's got nine tracks on there. Comes in at about 55 minutes. Now, I believe there is a bonus song, a bonus 10th uh, track that might only be available like on the physical copies or whatnot, but uh, I listen to this digitally, uh, so I have not heard the 10th the track. So I'll just talk about tracks one through nine, which, as I said, comes in at about 55 minutes. So good length of time. Just shy of an hour, nine songs. So you know you're getting some that are you know of the longer length. You know you, you get some as short as well. There's an instrumental that's about three minutes long, um, and then the others that are on the shorter side are more around five six minutes. But then you have a couple uh, at like nine minutes. Yeah, you have a couple that are about nine minutes, and then one like seven and something uh, minutes. So very. Uh, different kind of array of songs on here. You, you get your, your long kind of epics and then you get your more concise uh, songs here. And what you're going to get, I mean, folks, is just some real melodic like, speed power metal uh, through and through here. Uh, that's really the name of the game. Um, there's no real um, 
extra frills or, or you know things. It, it, it is just a, a pure power metal album. Um, you know, again, more of the in the the speed uh, metal kind of vein. Um, not really like the the grand epic fantasy power metal stuff like that. Much more just driven and straightforward melodic speed power metal. And uh, folks, I, I gotta tell you, you know, I, I had high hopes for the album, but I, I was trying to temper my expectations a little bit, just you know, because you know, I try not to get too stoked. And, and based off of the singles, I was like, okay, you know, I, I thought I had a good idea of what the whole album was gonna be like, but much to my uh, uh, glee gleeful surprise or, or whatnot, there's a lot more to this album than would initially meet the eye, you know, based off of the singles, um, the, the first two singles that released, which was Sayonara and Megalomaniac, and both of those songs are, are the first two tracks, so you kind of go through familiar territory if you listen to the first two singles, and then it all becomes new from there, and yeah, like I said, I, I thought I kind of had the album pegged just based off of the first two singles because they're somewhat similar in style but there's a lot more here than I honestly thought there would be and it, 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 it's wonderful it just it, what a well-rounded and um, diverse and dynamic album here I, I have to say I was really really impressed with the songwriting because based off the singles if you heard either uh, Megalomaniac or um, Sayonara, you know that this band is just chock full of immense talent. Uh, talent, And I mean, the, the guitar is just always going nuts. Um, lots of crazy solos, lots of crazy riffs and, and melodies being done there, and the drums are ripping. It's very speedy and, you know, all of this stuff, kind of really showcasing the individual talent of each of the band members and I kind of thought that's what the whole album was going to be like and it is it is don't get me wrong but there's a lot more to it than that they they didn't just rely solely on this immense talent you know of the individual band members you know songwriting it did not take a back seat uh, to the talent and I kind of thought that it might just because how do you how do you find the right balance, you know, uh, between that and this is how, this is how you do it because the songwriting um, is excellent and it goes really hand in hand really, really well with the immense talent and it's not just like, they're not like a one trick pony where it's like, okay, you know, every song is going to be kind of the same deal. Not at all. There's a lot of cool things added throughout, a lot of, um, you know, moments that it never really gets like down tempo or anything like that you know maybe more in the, the mid tempo range at times um but uh you know it's a lot of the, the the fast you know speedy kind of tempo uh going but there's a lot of great melodies there's a lot of great little nuance in here there's a lot of creativity um with the songwriting and, and it just keeps things feeling fresh and when, uh, to, when I was first listened to the album, at first I was like, you know, this is really a lot, you know, this is, I feel like this is kind of like, I'll listen to the album, I'll kind of have to take a break and listen to some other stuff and go back, but I actually found myself starting it right back from the beginning when it was over because I was so impressed and again, there's enough uh, variety and uh, enough diversity throughout this album where you do get it's not like a constant onslaught and it really really just continues to feel fresh as you you know the the album truly does kind of evolve as it goes and so it just really really impressed me and uh, uh, I, really great stuff so yeah as I said uh, the guitars are just absolutely nuts they kind of take the forefront here um, as far as driving a majority of the songs um, you know rhythmically and, and just with the solos and you get a lot of incredible shredding going on here. Guitar work is phenomenal. The drums, I really, I just hats off to the drummer for keeping up with, with like the, the, the speed and, and just the shifts and changes in the songs and a truly a, a master of the drum kit for sure, you know, with great quick, you know, uh, beats and, you know, with the double kick and just, 
you know, everything going, but then also more intricate kind of stuff and, you know, fills and whatnot, you know, in between and really, really great work there. Um, the bass is just nuts too. There's moments where the bass really gets to shine and, and you just hear these awesome uh, bass riffs and melodies uh, chugging, just incredible stuff. And the vocals are, are top notch, you know, he's got a great range, mostly in the higher register is I think where he feels most comfortable, but you know, there is some movement um, um, in there as well, but just again, being able to keep up with the pace of a lot of these songs and uh, delivering, you know, a lot of the lines and things, it's just really, really wild uh, how he does that. And then another thing that really, really added to um, my enjoyment of the album, and again, this speaks to the creativity and, and versatility of the band, is there was some incredible, incredible piano work in this album. Uh, just s phenomenal piano work that, that really kind of takes things to another level and, and really just... Uh, it just adds vitality to the songs that, that it's in. And again, just really kind of makes you pay attention, like, wow, this is some really great stuff. And the way it's utilized, and, and it's just awesome. So awesome, awesome, all the way around, uh, 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 instrument-wise, um, you know, musicianship is just uh, phenomenal. I already said the, the songwriting is really, really great. Um, and... Uh, and yeah, just, just the, the creativity that the band used throughout the album is just really, really cool. And not just relying on like, you know, just this kind of one thing. So, you know, like I said, it starts out with Sinor and Megalomaniac. It really hit the ground running here. And, um, you know, it's not messing around, but, you know, really great melodies, really, really speedy stuff. Great uh, guitar shredding. Uh, track four, Monsters, is one of my favorite on the album. And this is the first song that for me really was like, okay, wow, all right, they're, they're not messing around here. They're, 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 uh, they're, they're here to, uh, 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 I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but, um, you know, they're not messing around. They're, they're really here to showcase, you know, a lot of different elements and um, also focus on songwriting and, and, you know, keeping things feeling fresh. And you know, this song is just awesome. I, I just love it. You, you even get some choir action kind of going in there, some symphonics uh, going in there, really, really great. And uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the first song where the piano kind of uh, uh, shows up. And just a killer song, just a killer, killer song. Uh, I love it. Uh, track five, Set You Free, has a really nice kind of uh, grand uh, sort of uh, uplifting feel to it. A lot of the lyrics in this album are quite peculiar to, the, to say the least and, and are not exactly you know of the most cheery kind of vibe even though a lot of the music has kind of a, a not cheery per se but kind of more on the positive side it's not like a dark sounding album musically uh, but the lyrics are hiding some some darkness in there uh, without a doubt but but yeah set you free it just has a really great kind of soaring melody um, that is just epic, and I absolutely love it. And again, just continues to showcase you know, the band's songwriting skills and, and just working everything in together uh, to create a, just a really well-rounded um, album. Uh, and then you get track seven, which again, <laughs> just really took me away. It's another one of my favorites. It's called Under the Veil of Madness. And uh, true to its name, uh, the song is mad, and it's definitely the most interesting and, and creative uh, and peculiar and kind of theatrical song on the album. It's got a lot of movement throughout, a, a lot of uh, just playful vibes, a, a lot of, um, like I said, just kind of theatrical almost uh, feeling to it. And it's just epic. It's just so, so cool. And it just has a really great um, melody and the vocal work in the song is really, really neat. Again, it really kind of taking uh, the vocals outside of like the the comfort zone of, of just kind of how a lot of the rest of the album uh, was was played you know vocally this song really kind of breaks out of that and, and does some different things so it's a really unique song really different and just really really cool 
Um, and Power of a Thousand Suns, really great instrumental. And then it ends with, uh, unless I guess you have the physical edition or you have that 10th bonus track. But uh, from what I listened, it ends with track nine, Pages of Gold, uh, which is just a great, great melody. It's a really nice way to end the album, really round it out uh, in a solid way. And yeah, from beginning to end, uh, it just, it's just so well constructed. Uh, it, like I said, I, I was really quite blown away um, because I expected good things, but not to this level. I, it just it exceeded my expectations, and um, it, it's an album that I, I listened to multiple times, and I kind of liked it even better every single time I listened to it. And so, yeah, I just really tip my hats off to the fellas over at Ascension because not only are they absolute masters, of uh, the instruments they play or, you know, the vocals or this and that. But they are also excellent songwriters and, and being able to take all that talent, utilize it, showcase it, but also create a very dynamic and diverse album that uh, feels very well-rounded and you get a lot of different elements throughout. And it's not just kind of the one thing just stretched all the way out to the end. Uh, just uh, just kind of a showcase of like, hey, look what I can do. No, they, they definitely um, considered the, the songwriting aspect and uh, just created an, just an incredible uh, power metal album that, like I said, is very well-rounded and epic. And, and there's not enough good things I can say about it. I truly was very, very impressed. So, yeah, I loved it. Uh, I cannot recommend this album enough. If you listen to any of the singles and you've dug them, uh, give this album a chance. Don't sleep on this bad boy. I ain't kidding you, uh, folks here. This is just some really, really top-notch uh, power metal all around the board. Uh, you know, all the way around the board. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts on Ascension with their new album, Under the Veil of Madness. And, yes, there is a bit of madness to the album, but it's... It's glorious madness. It's well-organized and well-orchestrated uh, madness. And uh, you can't help but, but getting lost in it and, and starting to feel a little mad yourself. Uh, so it's contagious. It's infectious. What can I say? Anywho, awesome stuff. Let me know in the comments down below if you've listened to this album uh, and what were your thoughts on it. Or if you haven't listened to it yet or are you uh, planning on listening to it, let's talk about it in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all next time. Ranger, out.